Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be doing a review of the new LEGO Star Wars Executor Super Star Destroyer. Now this set contains 630 pieces and retails for $70 in the US, which when considering the recent inflation increases, this set is not too bad when it comes to that. Also, what's really cool about this set is that it brings back the sort of MIDI scale sub-theme, which I think LEGO came out with two sets in 2009-10, some, sometime around there. And then also in 2020, we saw a Nebulon B frigate, which was going to be a Comic-Con exclusive set, but then that never happened, so LEGO released it as an official set on LEGO.com for a day. But that set was just really hard to get. So it's really nice to see LEGO making a mini scale set that's going to be available at stores and just for the general public like me to be able to pick up. So overall, going over the Super Star Destroyer, the box, you just get your standard black box for all the LEGO adult sets. And overall, I just think this, this set looks pretty nice. It looks pretty detailed. I like the detail they include on here. You also get two to scale Star Destroyers, which is nice. It also looks like you get the 40th Return of the Jedi brick, which is really cool to see, as well as a plaque. And anyway, going over the side of the box, I really like this angle of the Super Star Destroyer. I just think it looks so cool. And on the back here, you get another angle of, this, of the ship where you can see some of the engines here, which I think will look really cool. As well as you get dimensions of the set, which it says it's 17 inches long and 5.5 inches tall. So really a, a pretty nice size for a set like this, in my opinion. Over here, you get some pictures of the actual Super Star Destroyer with comparison to the Lego one, which is always nice to see. And on this side, we just get some information and warnings about the set. So overall, I think this set's going to be really fun to build, so I'm going to get this set built, and we'll go to that point. Alright, so I finished building the Executor Super Star Destroyer, and this set is really nice. I like the side paneling here, how it's all tiled off with a few studs here. I just think it looks really nice here. And then going over the, the greebling effect here is also really nice. Let me let me raise my camera a little bit up so you, so you can see the greebling a little better. And I can just move it. Just really like that greebling effect, looks really nice. You also have your command bridge here, which is also nice to see. The command bridge is a little bit large though, compar compared with the overall scale of the Star Destroyer, but you know, it works great. It's the, as you know, they couldn't really make it any smaller and let, without making the ship bigger. But anyway, I think it looks really great. Looking over the back here, we've got some really nice engine de detailing. I like how they use the translucent orange with, I think, 13, uh, accurate 13 engine exhausts there. Really over, overall really nice. I really like the mini Star Destroyers here. I really wish they had included a few more though. I think four would have looked really cool. And here on the display stand, we get a 40 Return of the Jedi brick as well as a plaque here that says Executor, as well as a some other like engine grills here. It does include another one, so you so you can swap it out with the br with the brick here if you'd like, just like that, which also looks cool. And then going over the value of this set it is 70 it costs 70 dollars which i think isn't too bad as i already said earlier in the beginning of this video but i really really feel like this set should have come with a minifigure like darth vader that you could put on this here just like this i think that would have given this a little bit more value as well as again included two more star destroyers i think that would have been really cool and just look nice also with you you have additional two two engine ghosts here you can just place them here on the studs i think i think it looks kind of cool is a good way to store them and then just looking over the bottom of the ship you can just see see that actually you can remove the ship from the stand just like that and then I'll just try to show the bottom of the ship like that I think this is meant to be a docking bay so yeah also there's a really nice Easter egg in this set I not gonna show you guys what it is just so I don't just so I don't spoil I'm sure a lot of people, you might know what it is already if you've watched other reviews. So anyway, there you have it, my review of the LEGO Executor Super Star Sure, I think the set's a pretty nice set. So I, when it comes again to the price tag, I think, I think $70 isn't too bad. Just really would have nice to have seen a Darth Vader minute figure and again to Mr. Star Stories. But anyway, that is my review. And until next time, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.